hello everyone and first of all i would like to say that i'm sorry for not being able to make it there in person but i would also like to thank you for this wonderful opportunity i am bukola oriola and first of all you know evangelist amusa she's um a woman who has impacted my life in many ways she's one of those people who stood by me and prayed for me and helped me from slavery from the slavery of human trafficking and domestic violence to me being where i am today i'm indebted to her and all you uh, people out there thank you so much i'm honored to be invited by pastor isaac amuson to speak with you guys today via this medium so thank you thank you so much i hope today is going to inspire you i hope that what i will be sharing today will inspire you and motivate you most of all to take action to get your desired result and i know that the the topic that i'm going to be talking about is overcoming financial and academic challenges how do you overcome financial and academic challenges first of all let me tell you a little bit about myself like i mentioned earlier my name is bukola uriola and i am a survivor of human trafficking and domestic violence here in the united states but before i became a victim i was i was raised as a happy kid raised in a nuclear family went to school finished school started practicing journalism but unfortunately the person that i married later became my trafficker and my abuser and i was in this ordeal for two years where i thought that death was the only way out for me and that time it was in the united states in 2005 between 2005 and 2007 but guess what evangelist i'm also one of those praying for me praying and praying and praying and god took the glory even when it seemed like there was no way out when it seemed like there was no help available god showed up so i want to encourage you today to know that god will show up in your matter don't be discouraged just keep pushing through you know and coming out to share my story was a covenant that i made with god to put my face to my story to take the shame for those who cannot come out especially in our community for those who cannot come out and share their story publicly i decided to take that shame for everyone so that those who need help can reach out for help nobody should be suffering nobody should be a victim of human trafficking or domestic violence and in the united states this month the month of october is domestic violence awareness month and i hope that in nigeria you can do the same to start creating more awareness about domestic violence and human trafficking and other crimes being committed against women and some men too because it's not only women who are victims there are men who are also victims so back to the topic of the day overcoming financial and academic challenges so i i try to prepare some notes but first of all I would like you to say to yourself that this is the day that the Lord has made and instead of we you say I will rejoice and be glad in it this is the day that the Lord has made I will rejoice and be glad in it because this is my day that is Psalm 118 verse 24 but the scripture I'll be using to speak today is in the book of Genesis so please open with me to the book of Genesis chapter 26 from verse 1 to 35 I will not be able to read all the verses but we are going to be jumping around some verses in the text and I want to use the story of of Isaac to see to show how he overcame financial challenge how he overcame and what what are the lessons learned from Isaac that we can adopt to our own life in our own present time in our location and 
you know i would like to say to you that you are not a mistake you are fearfully and wonderfully made you can imagine even as human beings when we make a product when we make something let me just use pap ogi for example when you make that ogi you know you you go to grind the corn and you bring it home and you sift it and after sifting it you let it settle and scoop the yogi out you feel proud you don't want anything to happen if somebody mistakenly spill it oh my goodness you are going to be upset you cannot imagine god making us and how it will feel when something that is not so good happens to us he's guiding us jealously and wherever he has made us we are not a mistake don't see yourself as a mistake don't see your location as a mistake god has a purpose for you for putting you at the location you are right now at this time god has a purpose for you so please know that god has a purpose for you so i want to break it down to first of all challenges challenges is the key word here like challenges is what we need to break down challenges meaning of challenges i i look for the synonyms and i found seven synonyms that means challenges number one is trials number two is test task experiment contents dears and defies and i'm going to be using some of these uh, synonyms to share my message to you today about the story of isaac so let's go to the book of genesis chapter 26 verse 1 to 35 so i'm going to be reading from verse 1 and this is king james i'm reading king james version 26 1 genesis 26 1 and there was a famine in the land beside the first famine that was in the days of abraham and isaac went unto abimelech the king of the philistines unto gera there was farming that was a challenge there was farming in the land that means there was hunger in the land they have the challenge of having a breakthrough becoming successful they are hungry you know it's the whole land it's the whole country that is having this challenge so there was farming in that land and isaac decided to to go to the philistines and he went with his wife and you know what happened when he went with his wife one of the things that happened was that he had a test the test he had was that he lied and said to them when they asked him who is this woman beside you he said that is my sister he lied and said that is my sister so why did he lie it was explained to us that he lied because he was afraid so sometimes you know when we have a challenge or we want to get a breakthrough we lie because we think if we tell the truth they won't give us the favor we want perhaps you go to apply to a job and in your resume you lied because you think if you don't lie they won't give you the job perhaps in your resume you only have one year experience or you don't even have any experience but you write there that you have five years experience why fear fear leads to lies fear leads to lie and that's one of the first things that we need to constantly check ourselves about and to conquer the spirit of fear when you are fearful you have the tendency to lie when you have confidence even in the face of persecution you are still going to stand on the truth and say kill me or do whatever you like to me so please check yourself let's check ourselves to fight constantly against fear so that we don't lie when we're supposed to say the truth so now i'm going to talk about the number one thing because now i've decided to break this down to three three ways to overcome financial and academic 
challenges. The number one way is to maintain a silent spirit. And I say listen to your inner voice, listen to your intuition. The Bible says be still and know that I am God. And this man, Norman Vincent Peale, he said in his book, The Power of Positive Thinking, silence is the element in which great things fashion themselves together. Spend time in silence. You may have your Bible with you. You may not have your Bible with you. You may have a notebook. You, you should always have a notebook to write. Because the moment of silence is not the time you are reading your Bible. You've read your Bible. You've read books. Now you need that time to meditate and think on those things that you have read in the Bible, for example. Or be thinking about that challenge you have and thinking about which way out saying holy spirit help me what is the way out of this predicament show me the way and you will be surprised that you will have that intuition inside you some people call it intuition some people call it your inner voice some people you know the bible says the still small voice You will hear a voice that says to you, this is the way. So, you need to make, have, we have to practice silence. It's good to pray, we pray, we pray, we supplicate, and we pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. God is talking to us when we are praying. Prayer is not a one way, um, it's not a one way thing. It's two ways. When we pray, God answers. When we, are, when we are praying, we are talking to God. Can you imagine having a friend sitting beside you now? You are talking to that person. And you just keep talking. And the person is answering you or talking back to you. But you don't take any moment to even listen to that person. You just keep talking. You know, the person will start feeling irritated. Or if the person doesn't even show that he or she is irritated, even you will start wondering, what's wrong with me? So we need a time of silence. You need to maintain a time of silence. And Norman Vincent's book says, practice silence every 15, uh, for 15 minutes in a day, out of 24 hours. Only 15 minutes for silence. And he also suggested best times, either in the morning when you wake up or at night when you're about to sleep. Because whatever you think about before you go to bed goes into your subconscious. And your subconscious does not know right or wrong. Your subconscious does take orders. It's like, you know, the military, they say the soldier goes, soldier come. They just take orders and they just execute the order. It's the same with our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind does not know good order or bad order. That's why sometimes when you think about something, you see it happen. It's because... You have put your subconscious to work. Now that you know, then you can control your subconscious mind to always bring positive results to you, whether it's in your finances or in your academics. Do you have? I remembered when I was in school because I wasn't the A student, no, but I knew that God can help me excel. And I remember when I was in school, I always prayed, God, help me to remember what I've learned. And also help me to make sure that I'm writing the right things in my papers. And sometimes you know that, you know, I will be thinking about this and praying about this. And I will dream about the exam or see some of the questions. And when I go to the exam, or some of those things will actually come out in the exam hall. So put your angels to work. They are there, 247, waiting for you to give them errands to do for you. Put them to work. Talk to them. And listen. Listen. Sometimes you are listening and you may close your eyes and you will just see something like a trance or vision. And your answer will come. So silence, remember, 15 minutes every day. 
practice silence if you have not been doing this before and you can do this once you wake up or once you finish praying take the next 15 minutes and just be silent and during that moment of silence you don't want to think about anything you want your mind to be open to be able to receive the way out and then we are going to go to the second one but before we go to the second one i'm going to to go to quickly um the same genesis 26 now i'm in verse 12 verse 12 genesis 26 verse 12 it says then isaac sold in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold and the lord blessed him and the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great wow and isaac sold in that land why did he sow he saw opportunities and that brings me to my second point the second point is look for opportunities look for constantly look for opportunities instead of looking for who to beg for money or who to go to oh do i have a rich uncle or a rich aunt or a rich family member that i can go to oh if i go to this person this person is rich the person is going to give me money do you know that some you look at people like oh they are rich you can ask them for money that person might not even have anything yes you know that the more your 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 income the more your expenses perhaps the person you are looking at to give you money the person too is looking for money the fact that somebody has the status of oh rich man does not mean that every every time there's money in that person's hand no and that person too is looking for money because you don't know what project that person has you don't know what challenge that person has that that person is not even sharing publicly because you don't know that is why you have to look for opportunities 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 wherever you are what are the opportunities available in that place as a student in school you are in school there are some students who need tutoring can you get some students to tutor them and charge them to tutor them that is one way that you can make money can you get some students and say, oh, if you want me to tutor, yes, I will spend one hour or I will spend two hours tutoring you on this subject and you will charge them. Trust me, some students will pay you for that. They will pay you to tutor them. That is an opportunity. I remember when I was at the Polytechnic Ibadan, I used to braid hair for other students. To raise money for myself and i was on scholarship yet i didn't just rely on that i was doing something i was looking for opportunities so look for opportunities are you someone looking for a job and you seem that you can't find a job or they keep firing you you take this job now they fire you you take that job they fire you do you know that sometimes all those things that we think they are negative they are ladders for us to climb to where we are going for example my ordeal as a victim of human trafficking and domestic violence i wasn't happy when i was going through but it was my ladder to climb to where i am today where i am on the president's council the president of the most powerful country in the world i'm on his council if i didn't go through what i went through i will not be on the council that was one of the determining factor to me being on that council so don't take negative things sometimes as oh it's the devil the devil sometimes we call devil 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 it's not even the devil at work it's god telling you hey this is the way you know we need to stop this this one you can't grow here you can't grow this is not the place for you to grow this is not what you need to do to grow move on move on move on so please don't always take everything that doesn't go well as the devil's handiwork but see it as an opportunity to get to where you want to get to 
and my third one is do not give up so i want to go back now to the to the uh bible let's go to verse 15 genesis 26 verse 15. it says for all the wells which his father's servant had digged in the days of abraham his father the philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth and abimelech said unto isaac go from us for thou art much mightier than we and then now i'm going to go to okay so in 18 he said the bible says and isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of abraham his father for the philistines had stopped them after the death of abraham and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them and Isaac's servant digged in the valley and found there a well of springing water. And the headmen of Gera did strive with Isaac's headman, saying, The water is ours. And he called the name of the well Essek because they strove with him. And they digged another well and strove for that also. And he called the name of it Sidna. And he removed from tents and dig another well, and for that they strove not. And he called the name of it Rehoboth. And he said, For now the Lord hath made room for us, and we, sh we shall be fruitful in the land. I want to say to you today that you shall be fruitful wherever you are. Wherever is that place that you are and you think you are struggling, perhaps it's at your job or it's your business, you shall be fruitful. Perhaps you are struggling with your academics, you shall be fruitful and succeed and be a successful student in school. So my third point that I will be sharing is don't give up. Do not give up. I had to mark my Bible. Isaac dug that well. Isaac and his head and his servant. They dug five times digging you all know about well digging it's not an easy task it's not even a day's job you can imagine digging and some people striving with you and taking it from you what is it that somebody has taken from you has somebody take on due advantage of you Has somebody taking what you made as their own perhaps you're at the office and you made a fantastic proposal and your boss or your co-worker stole that idea like their own don't give up there perhaps you have a business idea you told a friend about it and said hey i have this business idea and before you knew it that friend is doing the business or you told somebody about your business idea and the next thing the person stole the idea it has happened to me several times several times there was a time i told an organization i want to start a survival empowerment um survival support group and the the executive director said oh yes Bukola, that would be nice i want to see something like that guess what she went ahead to start a survival support group a human trafficking survival support group without telling me and put it out like her own but that didn't stop me it didn't stop me from having more ideas it didn't stop me from doing more now i have a i have a support group online on facebook with survivors and advocates in it so do not give up you need to try it again and again and again regardless of whether somebody is laughing at you and trust me for you to succeed you must be willing to take more credit from family members from friends i've had a friend sabotaging me live during a live show live show that i was doing online she was busy there sabotaging distracting me with angry angry sad sad clicking that for me to be distracted but thank god for the holy spirit so i want to tell you today you will have people that will sabotage including people you trust People that are family members, don't let that bring you down. Continue. If you have to repeat the process, repeat the process. And how you know that what you are doing is right? When you keep checking yourself with the scripture. 
and you keep listening to your inner mind and that's why it's important to go to the first point we talk about maintaining a silent spirit and practicing silence 15 minutes every day for 15 minutes every day practice silence and ask yourself again during that silent time god is this the right step is this the right thing for me to do and wait 15 minutes if you don't feel it if you don't hear anything or feel anything and you will not necessarily feel anything anyway if nothing drops in your heart keep doing your thing you will be surprised how the answer will come for you so thank you so much those are my three points for today i hope you have been motivated and inspired by these three points and please if you have questions feel free to connect with me i'm on facebook as bukola oriola and this video is on youtube so you can um comment in this video also i want to leave you with three resources my resources are trello and i'm going to be writing this trello and the link on on youtube so the trello is where you can it's an app you can download it on your phone and you can log on it online it's free with trello when you have ideas come to your mind you can dump it on trello you can write it down there and come back to it later because sometimes ideas come to us and when we don't write it down right away we tend to forget so you write it down in trello trello is also a place that you can use to manage your co-workers or team workers perhaps you and some couple of friends are trying to plan something or do a project together you can use trello an idea comes to your mind you can use trello and the next one is google what is it you know that you want to do google it to research and find out more about it just go is it a career in in school is it a business idea that comes to your mind just go to google and of course facebook i'm sure if not everybody listening to me a lot of you are using facebook facebook is a great resource don't just use facebook to chat or like only or fight with somebody use facebook as a resource when you are scrolling through there are videos i've saved on facebook i've gotten jobs through facebook okay this presentation i'm doing today came through facebook so you know there are so many resources on facebook and when you are commenting in somebody's post make sure that you are giving valuable comments because what you post out there that is your live resume facebook is your virtual resume now employers are going to facebook to go and look at your profile to hire you or fire you so what kind of profile do you have on facebook clean it up don't like everything don't you don't have to click on everything you don't have to comment on everything if you read somebody's post and it looks controversial just move on just go move on don't even say anything just go and be looking for valuable content that we add to your life and the life of others so thank you thank you so much again if you have questions please feel free to call me to contact me and thank you again to pastor isaac for this wonderful opportunity my mommy in the lord evangelist amuso thank you so much man and to all of you thank you thank you thank you so much god bless you i really really appreciate this wonderful opportunity given to me to be at your one day seminar today enjoy the rest of the seminar i know that there are great speakers there today thank you thank you so much and to all other speakers god bless you man and sir bye bye for now